I want to talk to you about one of the strangest questions Jesus ever asked. Are you ready for some good news? When Jesus asks, why are you afraid? It isn't because he's condemning. It's because he's curious. The Sea of Galilee is a beautiful 15-mile freshwater lake that lies below sea level and is surrounded by mountains with uh, uh, caverns and, um, and, and concave valleys that can cause unexpected storms to pop up. Um, it explains why Matthew describes one such storm as megas, enormous seismos, the word usually used for earthquake, uh, mega seismos, a huge shaking. That's the way the storm was described. They were out in a, a boat, probably a 27-foot boat like this one that was discovered in 1965, a first-century boat discovered in the sands of the Sea of Galilee. And today, people sail around, tourists do, on similar replicas. Uh, thankfully, I've never been in a hurricane or a tornado, but I am familiar with thunderstorms. And uh, boy, you don't want to get caught in one of those, especially if I'm out on the golf course. One of my favorite places to be, but in the midst of a thunderstorm, no. And some years ago, it happened. And I was on hole number 18 at Tanglewood Championship course, playing with a buddy when all of a sudden it came seemingly out of nowhere on the humid August afternoon afternoon, the thunder clouds arose and kaboom, it was right on top of us, lightning clashing everywhere. The thunder was deafening, the rain was pelting, and we we're running up the hill to try to make it to the clubhouse. I could think of a thousand questions that my friend might have asked me. He might have asked me, why are, we out? why are we out here? Why'd you bring me out here? And knowing him, he might have asked me, if you die today, can I have that three wood of yours that I like so much, but one question for sure that I knew he was not going to ask me is, why are you afraid? <laughs> oh, why are you afraid? Because there's a thunderstorm on top of us. Jesus woke up from his nap in the bottom of the boat. His first questions to the disciples was, why are you afraid? And Jesus wasn't condemning. Jesus wasn't shaming. I think that though he was fully God, as a human, he was still learning and growing. He didn't know everything as a human. And I think he's almost like, given all the miracles that you've seen and all the time you've spent with me, Jesus was in a sense saying, I'm genuinely surprised that you're afraid. <laughs> it's not a picture, therefore, of condemnation of the disciples nearly as much as it is the confidence of the Savior. We're in the middle of a global storm, a pandemic, and there's a lot of fear. And I think if we see the storm through Jesus's eyes, we'll also hear his words. Why would you be afraid? I'm the creator of the ends of the earth, and he can calm any storm. And that's the gospel. Well, that's today's good news. You can get more like it by clicking right here or better yet, subscribe and start out every day with good news. Have a safe and beautiful day.